Okay, so try this problem first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so first thing that happens is just look at if it's primary or secondary, right? Because the main site of action will be the um, triple bond, right? So HgSO4 binds to the, um, to the least substituted carbon, so on the alkyne, uh, which is a triple bond. So there's a primary and a secondary. So I just said that it would bind to the least substituted, so that would be this carbon, right? So the Hg goes right here, and then the plus charge would go on the other side, right? Right here. Um, so the plus charge is right there. And so now what happens is the water, right? The water will come by and attack the plus charge. So after that, you have the water, and then you have another water that can come by and take away a proton, therefore giving it a zero formal charge over here. And so now what we want is we want to get rid of the Hg. So what you can do is throw in some acid, um, which, which would just be H3O+, and that would take care of the Hg, and now you have this. But this isn't the final product. Um, this actually undergoes a little bit of resonance, right? So it goes, it goes from this product, right? So, and then when you put in acid, um, H plus will bind right there, and then a plus charge will form there. So then what happens is the oxygen forms a double bond right here, the plus charge moves up to the oxygen, and then this product is actually more stable than this one. So notice how the equilibrium line favors this one. So this is more favored. Now what can happen is the another water can come by, take away the proton, give the lone pair to the oxygen, and then finally, this will be your product. So whenever you have a double bond next to the oxygen, um, just remember that it will actually form a carbonyl instead of staying like that. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.